Well, it was so nice that they went and won it twice. The Gator softball team returned to Gainesville with fanfare fit for a champion and deservedly so as they are the Women's College World Series back-to-back -back champions. The Gator softball team stepped onto the field hosting both trophies, one from 2014 and one from 2015, to emotion, standing ovations, and memories that exceeded even their own imagination. tracked the ball from the time it left your bat to the time it hit the glove. What went through your mind when it finally did hit her glove? It was, well, first of all, it was in slow motion. Like, I just remember her hitting the ball, looking at Taylor. She stepped on the bag. Then I looked at Aubrey. She threw her glove in the air, and then I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, it was very slow motion for me. It all happened so slow, and it's definitely a memory and a vision on, like, the, the face that Aubrey had. I will never forget for the rest of my life. It was just... It was an awesome moment, for sure. Brad, because you don't want to get too ahead of yourself, but uh, once you touched first, we all just lost it. I don't know how high Taylor threw her glove in the air, but it was good. Yeah, I, I remember screaming at Taylor, like, stay down, stay down. Like, you know, those are the hardest ones when they're coming so slow and they just, like, go between your legs. But I just remember staying down, and Taylor's one of the best defenders on our team, so knowing that she made that play is awesome. I had no doubt. It was one of the best feelings. <laughs> Why is Rocky on your shirt? Um, we kind of just, uh, I think when we were driving back from... I don't remember. Midway through season, you know, Coach doesn't let us pick the movies on the bus. Um, he brought all five Rocky movies, and we watched them all in a row. And the first ones, you know, no one was paying attention. No one really wanted to watch them. We all wanted to watch, I don't know, a girly movie, and he was not having that. And by the end of the road trip, the last two ones, we were into it. Like, the whole entire bus was into it. Rocky was our thing, and so we just kind of like, that's kind of like where it came from, and we really liked it. You know he he did, and we just kind of used those quotes to keep us motivated throughout the season. Just knowing that you won it twice, and you, we had more time to soak it in. It wasn't like a shock. We're like, we've done this before. This is really cool. So really, just so we had more time to soak it in. Uh, it's it's funny. Last year, I I, I I I got plenty of sleep. I you know I, I I just reflected on it for a couple minutes and went to bed and got up the next day and left. Um, there's something that's said about doing it twice. You kind of live and learn from your mistakes. And uh, I think we all, um, you know, really had a, a wonderful celebration. Um, I think the players just—I thank the players more than anything because they—they they understand what it takes to be a, a Gator and they understand what it takes to be a Gator softball player. I'm very proud of the way they represent themselves and their family. I think I went to bed at like 5 a.m. <laughs> trying to celebrate with everybody, and you don't get to have—I'll never get to relive that night again. So it was a great time. Everybody jump up in the air. <laughs> The Gators are only the third team in the sports history to win back-to-back -back national championships. And when asked how you follow that up, second baseman Kelsey Stewart answered simply, a three-peat. That's exactly what the Gators will do next season as they continue to not only chase history, but to make history. From the KDC Soul Presley Stadium, home of the back-to-back -back national championship Florida Gators, I'm Cassidy Hill with Gator Country TV.